Hello everybody my friend, professional private chef Giuseppe Manzoli. I was in Cumberland for uh, the happy birthday of uh, Kate and Brian. They have this uh, little cottage, very nice and cozy. And here is how in, uh, I start. I start from the room and uh, I set up the table. And uh, as you see, I've got my steak knife as well, because this dinner there was a steak ribeye as well. And here I've got all my sauces and uh, I got the oven on with all my little little stuff. I, I mean the, the soup, I've got all my... And this is was the pork belly, the canapé, one of the canapé, because this dinner was made uh, with canapé and uh, starter main courses and dessert as well. So this is the pre preparation of the prawn cocktail. The prawn are in the pan, in the fry pan, and uh, cooked uh, from fresh, from scratch, in the kitchen. And here I was making the sauce for the salad that um, I use for uh, my uh, prawn cocktail. So now I'm going in the other room because this kitchen is a little bit smaller for eight people. So Brian and Kate, they, they have had uh, six guests, so in total there was eight people. And uh, I set up my prep table in the living room. And uh, in this way, they also they have seen me to do, to do my job for them. Yes, so this was the uh, prawn cocktail for um, one of the canapés. The prawns are cooked fresh in the fry pan. And also the mari rose was made from scratch. And uh, here we go. So it's plated. There is poppy seed uh, snaps as well. This is one of the the, the other starters. There is a, a bruschetta with uh, chorizo on top and uh, other few things. And uh, the skin of the auber the aubergine, deep fried and dried, the, the di that I put in the, the dry date. Here is the pork belly that I served with uh, my homemade uh, burger bones, the, the bones bread herb bread and uh, this is a crispy uh, tapioca with uh, uh, yogurt cheese I make my own fresh cheese uh, from yogurt and uh, and then I use uh, and then I use it for my canapé like this one and uh, this one was finished with um, oil from the nettles so I got the fresh nettles and uh, I made my my oil for uh, that kind of canapé. Here I got tartelet, homemade tartelet from scratch and um, a few a few different sauces on top and uh, the little yellow things that you see is uh, also the tapioca crunchy. So this is vegetarian canapé, vegetarian tartelet from scratch. And uh, Let's go, let's go, and here I've got the arancini, homemade arancini. This time I filled them with uh, brie. It was uh, very nice and tasty. The brie is melted in the middle, and uh, it's cute, it's a good job. So, I'm going to finish this, uh, this arancini for my guests. A little bit of sauces, and um, and this was um, another canapé that uh, they have made. And here I've got my pizza, homemade from sourdough. And uh, now I show you one thing: when uh, you get, you see this bubble, this bubble here on the dough. When you get this bubble here, is because the dough have uh, have had a nice rest. And uh, the result is that you are going to eat. A beautiful, wonderful pizza, crunchy outside and soft in the middle. When pizza is made from sourdough and when uh, I've had a very, very long rest, six, seven hours, only the, the end of the dough. So, and then you have to do the, 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 the dough from scratch. Here I've got all my main courses on and uh, the two pan, fruit fry pan that you see, that are for barley. So there was one girl that was a vegetarian. So and I, I made uh, this barley with uh, fresh 
fresh roasted vegetable and then I made some barley as well risotto barley if we can call it with uh, vegetable and uh, prawns this is my homemade tomato sauce that I use for the pizza and I use for uh, this kind of uh, barley risotto with vegetable very taste when you make your tomato sauce from scratch it's very very taste with garlic um, and basil yes so you see here I got fresh prawns in, in this uh, risotto barley and uh, and this was the preparation of the main courses in the time that my guests have enjoyed the canapé I've got the time to to prepare my main courses and here was uh, one of the first uh, starter they have had uh, two starter is a uh, homemade uh, butter roast butter and squash soup this is a kind of velouté wonderful amazing very very taste kate uh, the happy birthday girl the happy birthday girl she said uh, wow this is so amazing okay, to be honest i make very very nice soups and then uh, the next one will be homemade uh, cannelloni with uh, with spinach or make cannelloni with uh, spinach sauce and cheese and parmesan parmesan cheese sauce here we go now now we are going to see this um, this cannelloni yes here we go so the spinach sauce was in the middle on the top I used uh, the nettle oil that um, I made fresh. I, I bring the nettles in the in the meadow park <laughs> in Locor and I made this beautiful fresh oil. Amazing. And I use for the canapé and I use uh, for uh, this um, cannelloni as well. It's a uh, wonderful, very, very taste. You see on the background my my guests are very very happy and uh, Yes, here we go. And then I didn't short uh, the makos, <laughs> sorry. And here I got the ganache, chocolate ganache for uh, the dessert. The dessert was um, tiramisu, traditional Italian tiramisu with uh, bailey sauce and uh, chocolate ganache. Traditional chocolate ganache. Here we go. I got this wonderful tiramisu with um, the finger lady biscuit in the bottom and uh, homemade sponge on the top the tiramisu like you see is very very soft beautiful amazing and I made this um, with um, bailey sauce and also to the guests I give them a shot of uh, a glass with a shot of uh, uh, bailey sauce as well and um, they enjoy very 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 good dessert very good and now i think i've got the comment of the guest as well <laughs> and like you see the dogs <laughs> the dogs on the background <laughs> amazing beautiful wonderful dessert here we go and uh, i'm going to finish it with a little bit of uh, cookies crunchy cookies on the top and um, a little bit of um, of cocoa powder as well let's see here here the cocoa powder and um, in just a few seconds have a patience a little bit of patience and uh, I wanna I introduce you the comment of the of the guests amazing we got Brian let's say something <coughs> one second here we go, here we go, here we go, the shot, uh, the glasses, the glasses with uh, the Bailey sauce. So the Bailey sauce was uh, into the dessert and also I made this, uh, this sauce aside. So you can get one spoon, you can get one spoon of dessert and you can taste the sauce. It's amazing, beautiful, very taste, very nice. Here we go, done. Invite me for the second time in two years. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, he's uh, the. Okay, happy birthday. 
Happy birthday, where is Kate? This is the happy birthday of Kate. Happy birthday, Kate. Thank you. And now it's time to clean the kitchen, to clean the house, and uh, go back uh, at home. Dinner is done. Wonderful. Thank you for watching Giuseppe Manzoli, professional private chef.